Alright, another battle, and another battle I don't remember, so... Give me a minute. Um... I have a horrible feeling I'm going to Stealth Rocks on the Espeon, because I've done that so often recently, it's starting to piss me off. Yeah. Alright, what's it gonna lead with? Give me something to remember here. Alright, I'm leading with Evi, he's leading with Espeon. Oh, he's going to Calm Mind, and I am going to Wild Charge, and I'm going to kill him. I think. Am I right? Oh, come on. Come on. Come on. Yay! I'm halfway there. Am I gonna get the other half right? Yay! Would you look at that? And that shit, yeah, at one shot. So that is a fantastic start. Evi just spanked to Espeon. So there you go, 6 5 right off the bat. I can now freely do whatever I want because that man decided to sack his Espeon. In comes a Breloom. What am I going to do? I am going to Ice Punch it. Or Fire Punch it. One of the two, Fire Punch, and it dies. I um, don't know why he brought that in, actually. I guess he, well, no, because he saw the life orb. And Breloom is no end, well, it's about 20 points less. Um, no, about 20 points slower than Evi. So I don't know what he was going for with that one, but there you go. Alright, in comes this Weavile, and um, I don't want to hang around, because I know he's going to go for the kill. I was worried he would pursue... But I figured I was pretty safe, so I'm going to switch out, go into Bronze on, which walls this thing decently well. I can Reflect, I can Gyro Ball, which will easily to it KO. He does freeze me, though, which is a, a, little sla or a little snag in my plan. So, yeah, I'm not sure how I want to deal with this. I, you never know. I think the best bet is probably just to keep going for it, really. He is going to Night Slash, and I stay frozen. Which is annoying, but oh well, Bronzong took that Night Slash pretty goddamn well. But, yeah, whatever. It's luck, isn't it? Who part of the game, he's gonna go Night Slash again. And he's going to get a crit and a floor route, a gyro ball, and I friggin' hit that wee ball like a truck. Yeah, it died. Awesome! So, yeah, Bronzong is pretty much useless now. Which is annoying, incredibly annoying. However, it is six free, okay? And you think I'm doing pretty good, right? Wrong. This is a pretty good match to show that, you know, despite how initially you think the game is going, you should never really DC. Because I am I am up incredibly high. I'm assuming he is scarfed because of Reckless. So I go into Glade, take the close combat, and he Brave Birds me. Oh, mother of God. Now, the reason this is a humongous problem is because my team is very, very slow. The only thing that can be really quick is Glade after the Salak boost and Kingdra after it gets a Rain Dance up. That's it. Oh, yeah. So this Staraptor is a humongous problem for me. So, um, it's 5-3 at the moment. However, um, Bronzong's pretty much going to die, and Evire is kind of useless. Well, it has a lot of use left, but we'll see how that goes. And um, I bring in Kingdra. I am going to go for the Rain Dance. He is going to Brave Bird, and I do live it quite convincingly. And I do go for the Rain Dance. Now here, I go Dragon Pulse, and this is an iffy kind of play, because I don't know if Stab Rain Boosted Brine was stronger than... Sta uh, just stab Dragon Pulse, because Brian is 65 base instead of 90 for Dragon Pulse. It was iffy. I don't know. I don't know which one would be stronger, but um, I go Dragon Pulse, and despite it being minus fucking one, it doesn't die. It doesn't die, so it's going to close combat me and take me out. Couldn't fucking do that earlier, could you, you prick? God damn. So he is a sliver there. I don't even think Brave Bird Recoil would have killed him. But yeah, um, now it's 4-3. I have to bring in Celebi, and I have to effectively sack it, because it's the only thing that he's probably going to Brave Bird. So he's going to go for it. He's going to hit the Celebi, and he um, 
Yeah, he one-shots it, but he does die. So now it's 3-2. I was up 6-3, now I'm, yeah, barely up 3-2. In comes Lucario. I bring in Bronzong just to scout, really, for Death Fodder. And, um, <laughs> yeah. He aura spheres me. I die. I go into Harry Armor. I try and S toss him, but he has got some really funky Lucario right there. He's got a lefty's nasty pot set. So, guess what that means for my Harry Armor? He goes for an aura sphere. It doesn't do too much to Harry Armor. I go for an S toss. Um, it does a pretty decent chunk, which leads me to believe he doesn't have over 300 HP. However, with the lefties, with the lefties, I am not going to be able to kill him with Estos. It is a four-hit KO, and it is a pretty goddamn close four-hit KO at that. There's another one. It's looking... It's not looking great. I'm not entirely sure if I can pull it out. So I'm going to go for it one last time. And, um, yeah, as I said, I do not kill with my Harry Armor. Which is a, it's a shame. But there you go. That's, that, that's the battle. And that is a pretty good, um, example of how, no matter how, you know, good things look, shit can hit the fan incredibly quickly. Unless, oh, I don't know, you're running a whirlwinding Skarm team. Or, even if shit looks incredibly dismal, which is kind of why I don't run, because with your, with my random sets, I occasionally pull something out of the bag. Occasionally, you can just come back and sweep and win. So there you go. You should never really just think, oh, I've got this in the bag because I'm up so many Pokemon. And you should never think, oh, I'm screwed because I'm down so many Pokemon. Anyway, that is the end of today's lecture. I hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.